Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. In this video, we're going to have our first look at installing Windows Server 2012. Now, I know at the top it says installing Windows 8. I don't know if that's because it's a variation of Windows 8 or is it? I don't even know for sure because I haven't seen it yet. But this is a video currently right now. We are currently loading uh, Windows Server 2012. And this is the standard edition that I am installing. And we'll see how it goes here once we start getting it set up. So until then, uh, we'll let it load its files up here and uh, start getting to a point here where I can walk you through the install. And I'll see you then. Now at this point, we got the files loaded up here. And it looks like now we are preparing to uh, set up is uh, starting. So we're going to start the installation of Server 2012 and uh, start to get a feel for what it's going to look like, uh, what Microsoft is going to be presenting out there to us, and uh, what we're going to have thrown in our laps to have to deal with on a daily basis. I think that's probably a better way to say it. A lot of you out there are just uh, learning or just doing uh, Windows Server 2008 R2, which is a rock-solid operating system. Uh, we use it right now currently on uh, five servers, I would say, and that works very well. Here it's showing us that we can do either a Windows 64-bit um, uh, or a, uh, oh, sorry, no, here is the core installation right here, 64-bit core installation or a server with a GUI. Um, now, if you are the type of person that loves to get in there and, and fool around with the uh, command line, then you would want the core installation. Myself, I'm more of a GUI kind of guy, except when it comes to Cisco uh, routers, where I like to program those through just a straight um, command line interface. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up the 64-bit GUI interface. Click on Next here, and uh, we'll get that rolling. Yeah, I'm not sure too much about the core interface and uh, how many people actually load core. Um, like I said, I guess if you're really, really good with it and... Um, you know, you don't have that overhead of the GUI interface, so a lot of people believe. But, you know, when you're running servers these days, and I mean, realistically, even if you have 16 gigs of RAM, some people are putting, you know, 32 gigs of RAM or, uh, or more, I've heard of. Um, and that's great. And I think the server, you should beef your server up, especially if you're going to run VMs on it. Um, I know we run ESXi uh, VMware. And when we virtualize our servers down, it makes it nice because you can allot that RAM out and that server just kind of uh, ticks along there. So, you know, the, the more RAM you have in it, the more beefed up it is. I mean, naturally, the better it's going to run. That just makes sense. Plus, you can allot the, um, the memory and stuff just a little better, I think, and make it uh, a little bit more realistic upon your uh, virtual servers. And that's, uh, that's going to be a class for another day, that's for sure. So we'll go ahead and let this part load up here, this installing Windows. I don't know how long that's going to take, uh, but we'll let it go there, and we'll see where we come to on the next step. And I'll see you back here very soon. Okay, at this point, we're getting ready to go ahead and boot, for the first time, our Windows Server 2012 installation. And you can see the little four uh, squared window there they have as the logo now which is uh, kind of interesting uh, it's different and uh, you get your traditional uh, kind of spinning lights there I don't know what those are actually what you would refer to those as but um, ordinarily you see that it takes a little while to get that booting up for the first time uh, I guess it's still doing a bunch of configuration, so we'll get that together here real soon. Okay, at this point right here, we're just uh, installing our parallel tools, uh, because I am loading this actually on a virtual machine. Um, so we have the parallel tools being installed, which is kind of cool, because uh, sometimes the tools aren't as updated as what some of the operating systems that we uh, create or that we load on our virtual machines is. Uh, and I'm not sure if the VMware tools are updated and they uh, would load onto this installation. And uh, 
So now we're coming in. You can see at the top now where it says Server 2012. Uh, Windows Server 2012 there is on the screen now. And I'll try to bring us in here just as easily as we can. There's Server Manager right there coming up now. Finally, uh, that we get the installation complete. And uh, it's restarting here for some reason, stopping the services. And we'll soon see uh, why this is. Why is it restarting? Apparently, there must still be some you know configuration going on. You know, with any Windows installation, uh, there's still some more files being loaded and whatnot. Um, so it's just restarting there. Now we'll see at this point if we actually do. Uh, get the server manager back up uh, if that was just a one-time shot there and then we have to launch it ourselves. nope there it goes so the server manager is loading back up once again this is server 2012 so it's kind of a first look with the uh, install here okay so here's the server manager loading up and uh, now it comes into this new uh, kind of a very widgety looking dashboard here. Uh, server manager dashboard, it says uh, configure this local server. You can add roles and features. Three, you can add other servers to manage. And we can create a server group. Uh, so there's a lot of things we can do here with this server manager. So I'll tell you what we're going to do here. First of all, this is a, uh, a first look at the install. Now that we have it installed, I'm going to break this video because uh, we see what it launched with and how it comes up here. And I want to break this video because now we'll go into uh, looking at some of the configurations. But that's going to be another another video here. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, so I can edit this down a little bit. And we're going to call this the uh, install of server 2012. And uh, Dean, we're going to have the first look. And please, uh, if you uh, enjoy these videos please check out my website jackstechcorner.com that's jackstechcorner.com and on that website you can actually learn I have an online class set up for you for Windows Server 2008 R2 and it's from install to running the server configuring policies all kind of great stuff in there for you to learn there's little quizzes along the way and at the end you earn a certificate then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually uh, play with the server 2012 now, work with it a little bit, and I'm sure later on down the road we're going to have some kind of introduction class with it to kind of get you more configured because how much can they really do to a server? How much can they really, really change it? Uh, because the core aspect of the whole uh, idea of the operating system is to serve, correct? So it's going to be serving up something to your folks there. So. And we will um, be taking a look at 2012. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial of installing Server 2012 and uh, what went with that. And I'll see you back here soon for some uh, first looks of Server 2012. I'll see you then. Bye for now.